Hey, you wizards and witches, I wonder if you're conjuring up anything. Well, I have been. I'm mastering the broom. No, I don't mean I'm sweeping my kitchen for my wife. I mean I'm riding around pretending to be a witch and a wizard. We're both at the same time as I'm flying around the Hogwarts Legacy map. So now I'm going to teach you how to stabilize that camera so when we go into the races, you guys can actually move around easily, get those bubbles, get your speed burst, and be top of the leaderboard. As you'll see, I am top of the leaderboard in my servers. I don't know if that's how it works, but it probably does. Or I'm making stuff up. I'm conjuring up a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> anyway, so after you make those changes that you just seen in the clap uh, through your display, you're going to go and you're going to test it out. Now, there's a few different tips and tricks I'm going to show after the race, but I'm going to show you. I'm at the top. That ruby wheel. Holy cow. Thanks for so you hit your fast, both your trigger buttons at the same time to get a good start. So what you want to do is like center these bubbles into the ring. And if you can't center them, the bubbles will tell you a story. Top right, see, move top right. Now I'm only using my left stick to go left and right, and I'm using my right stick to go up and down. That's how simple it is to uh, stop yourself from getting that dog leg. See how you get dog leg there? That's what I call the back end of your so you flop around. So watch these blocks. Top left, I'm the top left. Control. Must have been quite stable this time. I'm off the off the map a little bit. Boom, centered myself out a little bit. Keep low, you go faster. Okay? So dead center. This is wrong. Left, fun. Go down Break. Center, dead center. Boom, dead center. I'm gonna hit all those things. I'm catching I'm trying to catch myself. Story of my life trying to keep up with my own self. I know these blades go down because I'm familiar with the map, but something you guys are going to have to do. But you can just touch the top, graze them, or the bottom. But dead center, you know what? To the right. Go. You know they're coming. And I missed them. Go figure. To the top the left. Okay, small adjustments with your right stick to line yourself up. Right? Success. Up and down to your left stick. Right sticks for moving right and left. Otherwise, you're going to start dog wagging like I did at the beginning of the video. Easy. Keep boosting. So make sure that you wasn't too bad. Hold on your right trigger, and as you're going, you boost as you hit those balloons, and you're going to be flying. Hopefully, not breaking my record. So I'm going to teach you a couple tips and tricks here. We're going to fly around a little bit. Uh, some of the things I've been practicing. So I call it the corkscrew. So when you're going down to the ground, so what you're going to do is hold on to your right trigger, so you're leaning forward. And then as you go to the ground, you circle your left stick, and then you can do a swirl thing. Now, if you're to hit your boost, which I don't think I'm hitting my boost here, but if you were really close at the ground, you'll do a quick kind of uh, drift, and it's a cool, fun landing where you can dismount in amongst a bunch of uh, enemies and stuff. I'll show you a better version of that when we head over to near the castle. One of the things I was doing to try and figure out how to fly best and how to adjust my camera settings or my display settings was flying around the Quidditch pitch, uh, learning how to see. That's a dog leg maneuver right there, where you're purposely getting the back end of your broom moving left and right. You're perfect. It's like you're wagging a tail, right? So how you do that is you hit, you lean forward, get a gust of speed, and then you actually just move your right stick left and right, so you start wagging the back end of your your broom there, right and then you'll get kind of like a little dog wag going on if you want i can do a short on that but here's some corkscrew examples um coming into hogwarts castle i hope you guys are liking the game i think it's freaking fantastic and uh enjoy doing all these little things also i'm doing some amsr videos and so i'm just showing you close brushings to the ground this is another thing that I practice. I actually have been practicing weaving in between lights in the cities and in between trees at low altitudes. Um, just for shits and giggles. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Are we going to do the dog wag? No. Or, no. There. See? You get a little dust thing going on. Yeah. See? And that's just holding your burst right at ground level. And then you can whip around and you kick up a little bit of dust. It's a cool landing. And if you time it out perfectly, you can come in flying hot. So, this game has been amazing. I thoroughly enjoy it. I have some puzzle videos out if you guys need help with puzzles. Um, now I'm going to be doing more and more flying videos. So please continue to watch. Um, appreciate it. Hopefully uh, I can gain some more subscribers, some more views. 
and stuff like that. I'm just a small guy, you know, I'm just a small little guy living in a small little world. Let's go take a rip. I seen the Hogwarts train. So I end up flying off. I know I get distracted, I'm not gonna lie. This is the Kraken that's gonna come up here. Um, but yeah. So don't conjure up any negativity. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Bing bada boom, look at the Hogwarts train there. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. And once I have more tips on flying, I will post them. So you should subscribe, man.